In my eight years of using Blender's video sequence editor, every time I wanted to fade in or out an audio clip, it would go like this. You start where you want it to be at its current volume. So right here, I want it to be at the volume of one. So I go I, insert a keyframe on the volume, and then go to where I wanted it to be faded out. And I'd go like this and set it to zero and hit I. And there you go, you've got a nice fade out and your audio clip. And that's not that difficult, it just takes a few clicks, what's the big deal? But if you're doing something like editing individual footsteps, it's really important to have things fade in and fade out so you don't get any audio popping. And of course there's all sorts of other reasons why you'd want to fade in and fade out things. A couple of weeks ago I had enough of it and I was about to write a feature request to add kind of like cool tabs like Reaper has. But right as I had my feature request all typed out, I thought I better make sure nobody else has requested this feature before. So I took a look, and as I was looking, I started thinking, I wonder if I could write an add-on to do this instead. Now, I'm not super experienced in add-on writing, but I happen to know an AI that could maybe do that. So I messed around with ChatGTP for a little while, and it came up with this add-on and told me how to install it and how to use it once it was installed and I thought hey that's pretty cool so I installed it and I looked up the feature uh, it said something like search in the context menu for fade in and fade out so ah okay so we have fade in fade out and that's pretty cool so fade out hey that's pretty nice it uses the keyframes that I would have had to manually add before, and it just fades it right out. That's that's really cool, it's working. And then I thought, is it actually working? Or has this feature just been here the whole time and I didn't know about it? So I went to a previous Blender version and took a look, and sure enough, this feature has been here the whole time. So what we can do is we can select the audio clip, right click, and go to this fade menu, which is super nice, and fade out, for example. Then we've got a nice little default fade at the end. Something I use a lot more and is I think a little bit more useful is fade from current frame. So wherever your cursor is, that's where the fade out will start and then it'll fade out to the end of the audio clip. So if we go fade, fade from current frame, you can see we've got this nice specific fade out. So that's pretty cool. Another feature I was going to put in my request was crossfading. So if we have these two clips overlapping, we can select both of them, right click, and just hit crossfade. And look at this, we've got a nice little fade in between these two clips. Pretty cool stuff. Now, of course, Blender is set up for hotkeys, so you can do these things super quickly, which is really nice. If we put our cursor here and we want to fade in from here to here, we can right click. You can see in the fade menu, the underlined letter is F. So if we hit F, it'll open up that menu. So fade to current frame, which is fading in to your current frame. T is the hotkey. And then fading from the current keyframe is C. So if we want to fade to the current keyframe, we can just right click, FT. Boom, really fast. If we want to fade from the current frame, we can right click, FC. Boom, fades out. And these are the tools and hotkeys that will save you a huge amount of time when you're working on editing projects. Now, if you're a visual effects artist and not a video editor, something else that will save you a huge amount of time is not simulating smoke. And that's why I've put together this pack of seamless looping smoke assets. These are super cool because you can add a lot of atmosphere and life to a scene very quickly and not need to worry about simulating anything. And I've been using these a lot lately. I really think they can add life to your scene and make it a lot more interesting. So if you'd like to pick these up, there's a link in the description to get them for free. And I hope you have an excellent day.